organic. But if you're eating normally, like a standard American, standard American diet, you're eating hamburgers and steak, etc. That's definitely not quality food. But you can get lots of good nitrogen value from veggies. Now, it's unfortunate because meat should be a valuable food and eggs and dairies as well. But it's not like you absolutely need to have meat. So what do you do for, for joint, for cartilage deg degradation or joint degradation or bones, deg bones getting thinner? All of these, Dan, are a sign that the body is breaking down. It's a generic sign. It's not a bone or joint problem. It's a generic body problem. You're, you're also running higher risk for your blood vessels to break down. You're running higher risk for strokes. You're running higher risk for aneurysms. You're running higher risks for uh, wrinkles and in, in a, a skin collagen and skin connective tissue breaking down. It's a general breakdown. Dan, did you ever see that bodies exhibit that was going around and still going around in, in uh, uh, museums where they show you bodies with yeah, the skin no, taken? Yeah, I know what you're you referring know? to. Yeah, you know what I'm talking to, right? So they show you the bodies with the skin with the skin off of it. And it almost looks like meat. It almost looks like steak. That's the connective and muscle tissue that makes up 80% or more of our bodies. The, this is the part that, that thins. It starts to shrivel up as we get older. And your cartilage is part of that connective and muscle tissue. So basically, all of that stuff is starting to thin and break down and not get repaired. So what do you do? Well, there's two factors. Well, there's actually three, but we're going to talk about two here. Number one, you've got to eliminate anything that keeps the building process from occurring. The, the connective tissue is always rebuilding itself, but over time, the things get into the system that interfere with that building. Sugar is the most important. Got to restrict the intake of sugar. Any kind of pro-inflammatory foods have to be eliminated, and that means uh, uh, processed foods and, and uh, trans fatty acids in addition to refined carbohydrates and sugar. So eliminating pro-inflammatory foods is step number one. That's to take the, the bad stuff out. Then you got to put the good stuff in. Protein, as you're pointing out, is extremely important, but it doesn't have to be meat protein. It can be vegetable protein, it can be bean protein, and it can be egg and dairy protein as well. But a good source of protein is very important. Also, cartilage-containing products. We talk about chicken soup and bone soup on this program all the time. Homemade chicken soup with the cartilage and with the bones is unbelievably important for building connective tissue. That means building bone, building cartilage, building blood vessel connective tissue, and skin connective tissue. Chicken soup is one of the best anti-wrinkle foods ever. Just as good as any wrinkle cream you could use. So uh, cartilage-containing products, uh, also supplements that contain cartilage, like the glucogel caps in addition to the bone soup, uh, the, the homemade chicken soup. Um, and make sure you're dissolving that cartilage with a little bit of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice in the water. You can use high al uronic acid capsules. This will provide you raw materials for building cartilage. Resistance training. You said you're a former athlete. I hope you're not laying off the resistance training because of your joints because that will help build connective tissue. Vitamin C is ridiculously important for building connective tissue. In fact, you can't build connective tissue without it. And most of us, um, are, most of us are getting the RDA vitamin C, the, the 60 milligrams a day. That's nowhere near enough. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Use your Biolumin Nightly Essence probiotics to stabilize digestive health because if the digestive system is breaking down, you're not going to be able to absorb your nutrients. And by the way, the digestive system is also made up of connective tissue. So using these strategies will help you build up your digestive system. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine in addition to using your glucogel caps. So one more thing I'll tell you about, but I didn't mean to interrupt, Dan. What were you going to say? Uh, no, you actually answered it. I was going to ask uh, vitamin C what's going to be a, grant, a good transmitter for that. I think you mentioned uh, the be Beyond the RDA bio bioluminescent. Um, no, that's not vitamin C. That's oh. for the digestive system. The uh, okay. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is what you want to do for your, uh, for your vitamin C. Sip on it all day long. You might want to take a little bit of extra vitamin C also. And then uh, we're going to be talking about this in the coming days, it's, and we don't talk about anywhere near enough on this program or any programs, and that's the importance of enzymes, systemic enzymes, for several reasons. Number one, enzymes are important for helping you absorb your nutrients, but number two, enzymes are also important in the systemic fashion for helping keep inflammation down so that you can rebuild your cartilage. So get yourself on a good enzyme product. I've got a bunch of good enzyme products at brightsidehealthproducts.com. You can also use your yeah. ultimate enzymes. You'll find that at criticalhealthnews.com or also brightsideben.com. All right, got lots of wonderful strategies there. Let me give you a couple, one more that I like. Liquid silica gel. 
and it's hard to find. There's only one company that I found that makes it. It's called Abkit, A-B-K-I-T, a liquid silica gel. Anybody recovering from surgery or dealing with connective tissue or joint disease or degenerative joint disease, liquid silica gel. Do a couple tablespoons, a t couple tablespoons full of that a day. All right, I want to move right. on. Is there anything else, Dan? Thanks Is that good? a lot. Thank you. God bless um, you, my friend. Yeah? You too. Okay. All right. Uh, Maria in Florida, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Maria. Maria, Maria. You there? Do we have Maria? Maria? I'm going to let you go. One, two, three. Okay. Hear me? Oh, hey, Maria. I'm about to hang up, hey. hang up on you. Say by the bell there. What's going on? Yes, I'm so happy to be able to be talking to you today. And uh, you. that a friend of mine introduced me to you. I've been listening for over a month now, and I, I, can, I cannot get tired of uh, listening to your Oh, praise advice. God. Thank you. I appreciate that, Maria. How can we help you today? Okay. My thing, I've never heard what's going on with me before. And um, I'm a 54-year-old menopause woman. Okay. Are you in Miami by any chance? Are you a Cubano? I, no, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, you're Puerto Rican. Okay. So yeah. I but yes, I am Miami. Okay. Um, love Miami. Yes. Go ahead. We only have about a minute, so no, we got to um, get to the, okay. to the chase. Okay, my mouth is on, is on, it was two days on fire. That's oh, how that's it awful. started. Like a piece of pizza inside my mouth that will never, you can never that's, get it out. Okay. And then Let, it just kept happening, like on and on. My lips were on fire. My. Uh, all right, know, I'm going to run out of time. That's called burning mouth syndrome, and it's very common, and doctors think it's a mouth problem. It's not a mouth problem. It's a nerve problem. It's an inflammatory problem. You got diabetes or blood sugar issues? I know you do, but are they diagnosed? They, they just told me pre-diabetic last I know. Year, I'm telling you. I'm not a psychic. Thing. I'm not psychic, Maria. I'm only a pharmacist. But this is how it works. And you go to the doctor and they'll say, oh, it's a mystery because I can't find anything in the mouth. It's not in the mouth. It's in the nerves. It's an inflammatory condition. And you want to handle this the same way. If you've been listening to this program for a month, you know that I'm going to tell you exactly the same thing that I tell people when they have joint disease or when they have hemorrhoids or when they have a skin problem. Number one, you got to focus on anything that's getting into the blood that's causing this inflammation. And that means correct digestive issues. Do a food diary, elimination diet, do all the supplements you can think of for the digestive system including probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar. I guarantee you, Maria, if you stop eating for three days, the burning in the mouth will subside. Then you also got to start stabilizing the blood sugar. Make sure you're using your relaxation techniques. Maria, I'm out of time, but there's more I want to tell you. If you can call back, you know, I hate to make you do this, but if you can call back on our next episode, I'll be glad to address your question more fully. Or you can send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Maria, put your phone number on there, and I'll address your, uh, I'll address your question questions personally. We'll give you a call. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, friends, for listening to The Bright Side. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Have a spectacular, awesome, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.